At the Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute premises in Nairobi's South Sea Estate, a number of innovations are on display. These common manufacturing facilities are a testimony to products made by some of the SMEs who have received training from this national institution. We are drying, um, we are learning how to dry our mangoes. So he's teaching me the processes on how to weigh, on how to understand, how to cut all your mangoes. You just can't cut them the way you, you know, there are certain kinds of procedures. But a number of SMEs, especially in the food sector, are turning to foreign markets to source for key raw materials. Kennedy cites availability and costs as the main drivers leading to this. I can be able to market myself outside there and being able to be at Kirdi, I even have confidence in telling people or rather telling my clients that I am selling honey. The some, some resources are getting, um, can I say what, reducing and partly because of the way we are growing as an economy, the lands that were productive before for agricultural resources, they are now becoming areas that are being converted into concrete. Well, the knock-on effect of that is that shortages of those raw material. Every year, Kirdi trains an estimated 1,200 SMEs on adoption of various skills. An additional 300 book facilities here for product development. Despite this, Kirdi says the potential of SMEs in the country is yet to be fully tapped and encourages more farmers and producers to join the fray in growing local industries. There are sectors for which we have enough resources. And um, within the country, they are available. The only challenge, for example, is Kirdi is located in Nairobi and few places, so they may have to travel a long, long distance. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.